and then so I'm gonna be doing the hood option um, so I need to skip forward to um, step H1 I believe which is for the hood um, so you're gonna get your hood pieces and put them right sides together and this little curve right here this is for the neck So here they are, right sides together. So what I want to do now is just so right here um, on both of my my liner and my you should have cut four of these. Um, so I'm gonna basically be doing two sets. Um, one's gonna be my liner and one's my outer. So just go ahead and uh, use a quarter inch seam allowance and cut sew both of those, and I will be back. Okay, so now I have my head pieces, so what I want to do is turn one the right side out, and the other one I want to put over so that right sides are together, and then I just want to sew around this part of my hoodie all the way to the other end. I'm using a quarter inch seam allowance, and I will be back. I've gone ahead and um, sewn around my hoodie here. Um, so now what I want to do is just turn my hoodie right side out. Okay, there it is. Okay, the next thing I wanted to do is get my hood bands. Okay, get my headband, and then I just want to um, mark the center of one, so I'm just going to fold it in half, just like that, and I'm just going to find my center and go ahead and mark it. Okay, and then with our hood piece, um, uh, what you're going to do is, this is the hood. How the hood will look if you're wearing it. So what we want to do is just expand it like so. Kind of looks like a little heart. Um, this is our lining and this is our outer fabric. And we want to put this right sides together and clip where your seam is right here. And then sew using a quarter inch seam allowance. Make sure you're only sewing this side, not this part. Um, so I'm going to do that and I'll be back. Okay, so when you're done, you're going to have something kind of like this. Um, and then what's going to happen is when you sew your hoodie on, it's going to look really funky now. You might be like, what is going on? Um, but when you sew your hoodie on, this is going to be your band that goes across the front, and then this is your hood, and then you're going to have a band that goes down this side too. So go ahead and repeat the same process with your other side. Um, so I'm going to do mine, and I will be back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and done both sides of my hood. So um, I have clipped everything together. Um, next, I want to get my cardigan and find the center back. So what I do here is I'll just fold these in half. Um, shoulder seam to shoulder seam um, meets here. And then this is going to be my center. So I'll go ahead and clip there. Okay, now I need my hood to be on right sides together. So my lining should be facing up right now, and I'm just going to clip that together, right there. And what I want to do is just sew the neckline of my hood on. I shouldn't be stretching anything here. This should all fit. So I 
have my whole neckline here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sew this together using a quarter inch seam allowance and I will be back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and sewn that on here. And the next thing I wanna do is just go ahead and clip my bands on. So I'm just gonna flip my flip this over and go ahead and start clipping my bands. If you have that pocket piece, make sure you're catching that. And done that to both sides. So now I'm going to go ahead and stitch down my sides using a quarter inch seam allowance to sew that band on the front. And I'll be back. So there it is. My bands are attached. Um, so Sorry I can't get everything in the camera view, but here's the top of my head. And then these are the bands. Okay, so you could go ahead and top stitch those on if you want to. Um, and then what we're gonna do is go ahead and hem the bottom. So we have a half inch hem allowance. So we're just gonna fold it up half an inch and go ahead and hem, hem that. Um, so I'm gonna do those things and I will be back and we'll attach the sleeve cuffs. Okay. So here is my cardigan. Um, I have the hood up here and the sleeves and my bottom is all hemmed. My band's been attached. Um, I used a cover stitch to hem mine. Um, my pockets are here. Um, so the last step is to sew on our sleeve bands. So um, to apply the sleeve cuffs, um, we want to get our cuff um, laid out. You have the two long sides here and the two short sides here. You want to fold it in half so that your short sides meet each other, right sides together. And then you want to fold it the other way one time. Okay, so my short ends are meeting and then I want to put my fabric that way. So now I want to use my quarter inch seam allowance and sew along the raw edges making sure all, I'm catching all four fabrics. So I'll do that and I'll be back. So I've gone ahead and done that. Um, so now what I want to do is just flip my fabric over like that and now I have my cuff. And then when I'm applying my cuff I have my raw edges here and the raw edges of my sleeve here. I'm just going to open this up and put my sleeves through and I'm going to match up my seams and my raw edges. Okay, and now I'm just going to sew around my um, sleeve to sew that on using a quarter inch seam allowance and I will be back. So I've gone ahead and sewn that on. Um, I would just need to tie off my edges since I used a serger. But I'll go ahead and fold out my sleeve. And there it is.